All right, so I got another video here on getting free phone service for your cell phones. And my last video on TextNow, fairly popular, uh, $4.99, buy SIM card, and you get basically phone and texting service, plus a little bit of what's called essential data. I'll link that video in the video description in case you missed it. I believe that only works in the US. This, this uh, solution will work worldwide. Obviously, there's different caveats here. So this is um, from a company called Firsty, and there, I'll put the link in the description. I'm gonna actually show you how to install the eSIM in this case. So it's not a physical SIM card, you just, it's an electronic SIM. And it's basically like a virtual SIM card to get stored on your phone. It does mean that your phone needs to support the eSIM technology. Not all phones do. If it's older than uh, a 2018 made phone, it probably won't support it. I will put a link in the description on their blog post that goes over a list of uh, phones that should support eSIM. This is the um, Z Flip 4 and it does. Most of the, uh, the 2018 and older or newer Samsung phones do except for the budget phones. So you will need sort of a flagship type phone to support eSIM for this solution to work but if it does then it's completely free you don't have to buy anything you don't even have to use a credit card to um, install the eSIM it's completely free you just need like an email account but uh, it's there's you know there's always a catch right so the reason it's free is because uh, it's supported by ads so uh, when you install the eSIM uh, basically you'll get phone service or basically data only service you don't get a phone number so because it's data only you can still sign up for services like text now um, to get a phone number so that that will still work but after you initially install it they'll give you uh, basically a hundred megabytes of free data at the basically at the start and it'll be full speed but then after you've exhausted that 100 megabytes of data, then uh, you, you have to basically watch an ad or a video ad. And I think they are about a minute long, 30 seconds to a minute long for the video ads. And, and then it gives you another hour of free data. And it's, I believe it's unlimited data, but it's slow data. It's not fast data. So it's something like 200 or 300 megabytes per second. It's enough to do basic things like email, maybe surfing the web, text messages, that kind of stuff. Um, definitely not fast enough for streaming. And they do offer the ability to get fast data, but you have to pay for it. So that's kind of like their catch. You know, they'll give you like a, a really basic slow, slow data service for free if you watch an ad every hour. And basically you know, watch an ad for like 30 seconds to a minute, and then you get an hour of free data, and then basically they cut you off. Um, or you can pay for it. Now, obviously, uh, you can go. I, I'm, I'm not sure what the latest pricing is on the, on the paid uh, data. It's not particularly that cheap. Uh, obviously, uh, they try and hook you onto their service, and then when you want to get fast data, then you, you know they hope that you'll pay for it, and that's how the, that's kind of another way they're making money. But uh, you know, that's the, the the gist of how it works. You can go to the website. You can read how it works and everything like that. But that's essentially how it works and so um, we'll go to basically you can go to the uh, their website and talk about it and you can read about everything but just go to the um, Google Play Store here and we'll search for first D and it'll be like this we'll go ahead and hit install okay we hit open so there the idea behind an eSIM is for basically getting data if you travel a lot, if you you know go around the world, and it'll connect to different networks, and, it'll, and, it'll, and this, the service will work worldwide. So obviously it's free you know, with all those caveats I mentioned, but the goal here is um, basically for people that travel a lot. Okay, so we'll go ahead and I'll just sign in with my Google account. And we'll go ahead and turn on notifications. And turn on location that they need that so that um, they can determine what network you're going to be be, uh, be able to use. And go ahead and activate the first D SIM, and it's going to install that on the phone. Uh, it should just do for most Android phones. It should just be done automatically. Go ahead and allow. 
if for whatever reason it fails, there's a manual process, and you, uh, if you go to their support site, it explains how to do that manually, but I've done this several times and never had to do that. One thing you have to do manually is enable data roaming because it, this is an international SIM. And there we go, so 100 megabytes is basically your first uh, set of free data. And then uh, in the app here, it'll show you how much you have available. So when that one runs out, then basically it'll tell you, oh, you need to watch an ad to be able to uh, be able to stay connected to the network, although it'll be at a slower speed. But if you want to get fast data, you can pay for it. And you can just go over here and confirm your location. If you want a global SIM, it costs a little bit more. I don't recommend this because obviously the whole idea is to get free service. And this is actually kind of on the expensive side. But if you want to check it out, you can just go in here and obviously put your payment information. But again, as I said, uh, I would just stick with the free service. It seems to be fine. It'll do your basic stuff like email, um, some web surfing, text messages, etc. Uh, but if you want fast service, then you obviously you're going to want to go to some sort of paid service. Alright, I just want to show you what happens after your 100 megabytes of data runs out and we're still on the cellular network here. Wi-Fi is turned off and you can see here it says 4G. So let's go back into the first D app and now we can see we have zero minutes here. But we can just get another 60 minutes or an hour by watching an ad, so we'll click this. And that wasn't too long, so about 10 seconds or so. Reward granted. And it's kind of says congrats, we have 60 minutes of free data. Hit continue. And then there's a little timer here showing you how many, how many minutes you have left. So the data is pretty slow, so if you go into Google Maps here, you can you know, look around. You know, click on stuff and like things like pictures and stuff they don't come out or they come out really slow but maps generally works okay it's not not super fast but this is one of the essential apps that should work now you can do a little bit of web browsing on mostly like text web text based websites so Here's something called 68K News. And this is kind of like a uh, scraper for Google News. And you can see it's really slow, but basically you get your headlines and different, you know, um, basically it's a, you know, it scrapes off stuff from Google News, but it's only text, but you can see it's really, really slow. And obviously things like video streaming through YouTube, definitely not gonna happen. You know, stuff just doesn't even show up here. It's just too slow. But things like email, uh, some messaging apps. Again, I'll put that list up here of the apps that are supposedly should work over this essential data. Those should work, but at a slower speed. So if you're looking for like a different solution where you have like regular speeds for data, but maybe not necessarily for free, but you have to pay a little bit of money for it, I'll have another video soon on a data only SIM card where basically you pay upfront for a certain amount of data that's good for about a year. And you know that, that could be a potential solution where um, you, if you just wanna pay upfront a fixed amount, it'll be good for a certain period of time, six months, a year, et cetera. And you can spread out that data over that period of time if you only use you know, cell data uh, very, very infrequently. Anyway, that's gonna cover for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.